Hey guys, all right, so how much power does four-way SLI use up? Especially, I have here four times Titan X Maxwell GPUs already configured in SLI, as you can see here. SLI is four-way SLI enabled. All right, so right now idle power in is 440 watts and power out 415 all right so it's using low 400 watts on the idle with the four gpus all right so let's stress out the gpus and see how much power the whole system is going to use so i'm going to use uh heaven benchmark here um it's very intense heavy uh benchmark and let's put it all on the extreme uh direct x11 ultra extreme we don't need stereo multi monitor don't need that ntli is saying max it out at uh, eight times and resolution 1440p all right let's hit run all right so now it's on the other screen Gonna have to hit F9. All right, the benchmarking has begun. Let's look at the FPS. Uh, it's out of focus. All right, four GPUs going. And we are using right now around 900 watts. 980 is hitting. 95% efficiency it's approaching almost a thousand watts sorry about the defocus here this is much better uh, let's check the core clocks So we are at this one, this GPU is going at 1290. So it looks like they're all going at the same frequency, which is, that's how it should be. Um, we are still at 900. This camera doesn't focus really good. 979 watts to hit there. 1000 okay we cross over a thousand watts the entire system now uh, this cpu is this cpu is uh clocked at 4.2 gigahertz um which is it's is it's it's fairly low um if we were at 4.5 gigahertz we would be pushing probably 1200 watts right now um so last time i did this at fully maxed out 4.5 and then also oc the video cards uh further even uh even more uh since they are already overclocked factory overclocked um you know you don't really need to push them more but i think i added about 70 megahertz more on the on the clock uh, and that was pushing about 1350 per GPU so basically that set off a, 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 a trigger on the power bar and just completely shut down uh, the computer so at least at least we didn't blow a fuse so you guys can see how four GPUs need a lot of power and playing games <laughs> playing games for how many hours like you know if you're playing for six hours ten hours you know at f ultra full load on four GPUs 
you're going to be using a lot of electricity and creating a lot of heat. It seems, um, you know, it, it, I think it's, it's impractical, um, you know, but if you want to play the best games and, you know, you don't care about electricity, then I guess it doesn't matter, you know. Um, but if you're paying for electricity and you know you're you're you know you you got to have proper uh, proper electricity proper cables well proper um uh fuse you know the 15 amp I, like here i have a 15 amp it's very low uh you know so some some houses uh usually they have 20 amp like 20 amp is good and you, you see I have a 1500 watt power supply uh, to power this beast so alright so the benchmark finished and we got 146 FPS uh, this is on 1440p and ultra extreme everything uh, which is not bad 146 FPS um, I think two 1080 Ti's do about like 170 so you can see how compared to two uh two video cards two 1080 ti's can outperform four way sli titan x maxwells the efficiency is amazing you know you're cutting you're cutting the power in half plus you're cutting you know number of GPUs in half so you know Titan X Maxwell's um, they were good for what they were when they came out uh, they were still really good uh, for GPU rendering and that's what I use them for so you know they're, they're much more practical than the GTX 1080 because they offer 50% more VRAM, uh, you know, 12, gig, 12 gigabytes versus uh, 8 gigs. You know, even though the 1080 is 10% faster in GPU rendering, um, the Titan X, GeForce GTX Titan X Maxwell is still the better choice because you're going to be able to load more um, bigger scenes, uh, bigger 3D models, uh, more textures into the the GPU, even though you, you know you're you're rendering a 10% maximum 10% slower than a 1080. Um, so you know it, it still it still has value that the, the Titan X it still has lots of value and is very practical for you know workstation uh, production uh, environments studios. You know, anyways. So there you guys have it. Like basically. You know, you need a minimum, minimum 1200 watt. You know, if you're doing some crazy overclocking on your CPU, 1200 watt power supply might be, might not be enough. So, you know, 1500 watt, it's, it seems like, you know, the sweet spot for, for this kind of uh, benchmarking, you know, and stuff. And, you know, it's basically four way SLI is, you know, for, benchmarking anyways uh, you know not many people do run four-way SLI uh, you know only if you want to hit those numbers and you don't really care about electricity if you uh, you know the power so so there you guys have it you know this was just a quick demonstration how much power you require for four-way SLI all right guys so if you like the video you know give it a thumbs up um, you know if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet hit that subscribe button and till next video Peace.